guys, what's going on? It is me, KLV, and I'm back with a brand new video. And in today's video, we are doing a Mirage build. Now, this is basically a really good build because it makes Mirage really tanky and her Eclipse gives her basically a lot of damage. And while I was actually using this build, a lot of the time I was getting damage increase. And obviously, when you do get that damage reduction, you, it's going to be really hard for you to die because you're going to have Null Star. Null Star is the helm of uh, ability that we have subsumed onto Mirage. And this is actually a really fun build to play. I actually really like this build. And it's just like you get a lot of damage because one, you have Eclipse. That's basically going to be giving you 200% damage increase. That's enough right there. you got your Hall of Mirrors that are going to give four extra people out what's going to give you more damage and I was using the Chronon Prime and if you saw by the start I was doing a lot of damage like really quick and yeah so let's just get to the build on how this actually works so first off we need to have the lowest range as possible so our null stars don't just like go flying and so we lose our damage reduction so we want to have the lowest range possible so a max narrow minded is what you're going to need we've got prime continuity on here for the duration we've got prime flow on here for the max energy We've got streamline on here for the efficiency, adaptation for more damage re resistance. We've got organ message on here for more ability duration. We've got umbra vitality on here for the health. And we also have a neutron star on here. We only use this not for the damage, it's just so we can recast it. So when you have this on, you can actually recast your null star. And that's what we actually are mainly using it for. So for example, when you have like two particles left on your null star, instead of having to wait and you're going to like probably die really quick, you can just double tap your butt, whatever it is, so four or Y or triangle, whatever it is on your platform. And then you can just recast it and then you have back to 16. Now what is weird with this build is for some reason, um, Null Star's anti-matter particles actually go up by duration. So if we take Narrow Minded off, for example, and we just take it off, then we have 10. Now it's kind of hard to build this. I mainly try to build this for duration just for that Null Star. Because Eclipse, 200% damage increase, that is enough. And then when we do get the damage reduction, 75% with Null Star, what gives us 5% every every Null Star, we have 16, so I believe we have about 90%. <coughs> Our antimatter particles with this build gives us 80% damage reduction on this, if my math is correct, I don't know if it is. So basically this with uh, adaptation, is just basically it's really hard for you to die because you've got adaptation giving you that damage res resistance you then you're going to have a null star giving you your damage uh, giving you damage reduction what is 80 uh, percent then when you do get that eclipse on and you do get damage reduction that's 75 percent now you don't need the eclipse down the damage reduction on eclipse oh uh, when i was mainly playing it i mainly was getting the damage increase and it's just a really good thing to use it is just a really fun build to use and I actually really enjoy this build. So we're going to go through all the other weapons that we use. So first off, we use the Kuva Nucor. Now the reason why we use this Kuva Nucor is because obviously our Hall of Mirrors is going to be out. And that's just going to help us out a lot with the, using the Kuva Nucor. So this one we have actually got Corrosive on this time instead of Viral. Now the reason why we've got Corrosive on is for them Bombards. And this is for mainly if you want to go really late into the game. So if you want to go for like an hour or so on in the Steel Path. So the reason why we've got corrosive is for uh, the bombards or the really heavy gunners or whatever. So we've got Hornet Strike on here. We have got, got Confusion on here. Obviously, you can use a 60-60 mod if you want to, but I like to use these, these, this mod. We've got Sure Shot on here. Don't have to use that if you don't want to, but that's what I use on my build. And it was actually really good to use. We've got Pistol Peasants, the 60-60 mod for Toxin. So there's our corrosive right there. We've got Barrel Diffusion on here for Multi Shot. We've got lethal torrent on here for the fire rate and the multi shot we've got anemic agility for the fire rate and we also got auger packed for damage now the reason why we mainly got a couple of auger mods on is because when we use our ability we also get uh, shields so 80 percent energy spent on abilities is converted to shields now obviously that's going to be a really good thing because we're going to be casting our abilities quite often so mainly like our our null star we're going to be casting that quite a lot so that is going to be giving us that that shield back so we are always going to be using that shield that chronium prime build i use this build literally all the time it's probably like my favorite build to use and i won't be surprised if the chronium prime is going to get nerfed because on how ridiculously op it is so first off we've got prime reach on here because for the range that was really nice we've got condition overload on here now this is 
personally it is better than using like uh, like sacrificial steel and sacrificial pressure and all them marks like pressure point and all that now the reason why is because you get 120 percent melee damage per status so if you see here on this our status chance is 75 percent obviously it will go up with weak wounds but we have we have viral and it mainly procs viral and slash so they're the main ones that it procs sometimes it procs puncher and impact but it was right here when it procs viral and slash what is the common one that it procs that is right there 240 percent melee damage on that enemy type and obviously because we've got a decent amount of range when they all bulk together it's going to increase that damage and pressure power pressure point just does 135 percent now if you don't have condition overload i highly recommend getting it i'm pretty sure it's cheaper i've seen people buying it for a lot lot, a lot cheaper and i've seen people selling it for a lot cheaper so i think it is actually a lot cheaper than what it was but i recommend getting condition overload because especially for uh, steel path is really useful as you're not like one shot on them well if you're like going against normal kind of useless because you one shot on them so next is berserker now this gives us a 75 percent attack speed this gives us attack speed on critical hit so basically it doesn't max out on 75 percent and you're always going to be critting because blood rush is going to give you that crit chance of about 12 times combo you're going to be an orange crit so you're going to be good critting all the time healing return i really recommend having this mod especially for steel path as this helps out a ton if you don't use this in steel path you're not going to be as tanky you're going to be dying really quick because you're not going to be able to be healing uh virulent scourge it's really easy right here this is a 60 60 mod for the toxin i've got vicious frost on here for the cold and status chance and it also gives us that viral what we need a viral and slash recently has been a absolute killer especially for steel path and again, weeping wounds for the status chance. So we're going to be always procking viral and slash. What is just ridiculously OP. So that's basically been it, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It would be very much appreciated. And yeah, see you guys later. Peace.